on, this is Jay from JHP Video Tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over one of the fastest ways that I know how to smooth skin. And let me show you that little trick. Check this out. All we have right now is the background layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that layer. So I'm just going to click it and drag it down to this new layer button right here and then release. And there we go, background copy. We're good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And we're going to run a high pass filter on that. Now, normally, if you're familiar with high pass, what it does is it sharpens the image. And we're, we're not going to use it in that method this time, but that's normally what we use it for. So what you're looking for is you want to see a, a decent amount of detail. When I'm sharpening, I usually have it right around here, somewhere around about that amount of detail on the image. It depends on the resolution of your image, how high this radius is going to be. So because I'm working with a full resolution 5D Mark II image, it's uh, almost 22 megapixel. So I'm going to have a high number here in order to get this effect. So just keep that in mind when you're adjusting your radius. So, But for this particular image, somewhere around here looks pretty good. So I'm just going to click OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer blending mode from normal. I'm going to change that to overlay, like so. And what that does, when I turn the eye, the, uh, the eye for the background layer on and off, it just is sharpening the image, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command-I, and that's going to invert the layer. So that would be Control-I on a Windows machine. Now, instead of adding sharpening, it added blur. See that? Pretty cool. So I can actually go to the History Palette and show you real quick. That's before with the sharpening. Here, I'll show you before the high pass. Here's after the high pass, so you can see the sharpening and the eyes especially. And then when you invert it, you actually get this blur effect, which is pretty cool. So that's what we got. Now what we're going to do is we need to mask it out because we only, wanna, we only want it to blur you know, on the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Alt key down, and I'm going to click the mask icon here down on the bottom, like so. And what that does is create a black mask here on my skin smoothing layer. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brush tool, which I already have, and I'm going to make sure I'm painting with white here, and I have my opacity set to 100 on normal. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger, and I want to make sure my brush is pretty soft. Somewhere right around there is pretty good. And I'll just hit enter to apply that. I'm going to actually make it one brush smaller here, and I'm just going to paint over the skin. Let me zoom in a little bit and see a little more detail here. All right, see that? See how good that works? Pretty amazing, right? All right, so let me go around like this, get around the lips here, around the chin. See how it kind of gets rid of that little bit of, like, uh, blotchiness, you know? It's not that she has blotchy skin, per se, but, uh, you know, it, when it's a little chilly out, the, you know, they get the uh, little bit of, I don't know, I can't really think of another word other than blotchy, but... All right, so then you can, it works really good in the shadow areas as well to help reduce noise and things, like so. Let me just hit the X key. I just went over. If you hit the X key, that's a shortcut to change the palette to the other color. See, when I swap it like this, X switches the palettes. So I'm just going to paint with black real quick and, and get this flower back. I hit that by accident. All right, so I'm going to go back to painting with white. And I'm going to go over the hands here a little bit, like so. I'm just going to switch to black real quick and paint them back in. Took out a little more detail than I wanted. So keep that in mind. You can just, when you're using a mask like this, you can simply, if you paint with black, you're pretty much erasing the effect. And if you paint with white, you're allowing the effect to pass through to the uh, image, which is pretty cool. So I'll just paint over that like so. And that's pretty much it. Skin smoothed. Now, of course, we want to fix the blemishes on the face and, and things like that, but this is just skin smoothing. So let me show you the before and after. Here's before and here's after. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this at full, well, closer to full resolution. Actually, I'll go to 100% so it's nice and sharp. All right, that's 100%. Let me show you a before. That's before and that's after. I mean, look at the difference. Before, after, especially around on the cheeks here and stuff. So what I would do is I would dial this down a little bit, probably like somewhere around 60 or so, just to blend it with the original layer so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let me just zoom down here a little bit and grab, paint this arm in. 
And it's not doing quite as much because, remember, I have the opacity lowered on the layer over here at 62. So let me zoom back out here, get a closer look. And that looks pretty good. So here's a before and an after. Before and after. It's very subtle, but uh, makes a big difference, especially on a print. So keep that in mind, and, and this is a pretty cool technique. I hope you guys learned something, and have a great day.